Spider-Man is the game with the most achieved platinum trophy. Over 310,000 people have got the platinum trophy. That's 50,000 more players than the second game, Horizon Zero Dawn. To put this number in perspective, over 8.3% of all players have completed the platinum trophy. And in case you don't know, that's a very high number for a long game like this. But if 8.3% of all players have completed the platinum, why is there a trophy with only 2.7% completion? Well, a while after the game released, the developers added three DLCs. Now the DLCs have a reasonably high completion rate since it's very fun to do. However, they also added one extra trophy pack. Those trophies are complete the game in New Game Plus and complete the game on Ultimate Difficulty. And I didn't even know that was the hardest difficulty in the game. Saved Game 2, New Game Plus, Main Story, Select. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Ultimate difficulty is the hardest difficulty in the game. Uh, you guys can't see it, I'm sorry. So, in this video we are not only getting the Platinum Trophy, but we're also getting all the DLC trophies. In case you didn't know, I stream my gameplay on Twitch, so if you want to see me playing the games live, go over there and give me a follow. First, we're completing the base game trophy list. Now I won't go into this that much since pretty much every trophy hunter has already completed this game. We just made sure we first finished the entire story, then did all the backpacks, did all the taskmaster challenges, the black cat challenges, all the sable, prisoner, demon and normal crimes, and I did all the sable, fisk and prisoner hideouts, and last but not least I did all the side missions. Then also many of the trophies were completed just by playing the game. This just was a lot of fun because the story is so well made and the game plays so well, the swinging is satisfying to do, so it was not a task at all to complete the game 100%. Now onto the DLCs. For every DLC you had to do a few crimes in a couple regions and there were collectibles and challenges you had to do just like in the base game. So for the heist DLC, I did all the screwball challenges, a few crimes and then finished the story. Then on to the Turf Wars DLCs, I again did all screwball challenges, did a few crimes and then I finished the story. The last DLC was Silver Lining. In this DLC you finish screwball storyline, again I did a few crimes and finished the complete storyline that ran across all DLCs. The DLCs were very short being about 3 hours per DLC for 100% completion. The DLC story was a lot of fun and adds a lot of lore to the game, so I really recommend you do this if you haven't done it yet. By the way, the DLC is free for all PlayStation Extra members, so go get 100% on this trophy list if you haven't done it yet. Alright, now comes the hardest trophy in the game. Complete the game on Ultimate Difficulty. To be fair, it really wasn't that hard, especially if you completed Ultimate Difficulty in New Game Plus. The enemies have a lot more health, but since you've already done one playthrough, you'll be maxed out on strength and gadgets. You don't have to 100% the map, you just have to finish the story, which took me around 8 hours or so. So it's not that bad and it gets you 100% completion on the game, so it's totally worth it in my opinion. Alright, so this is my trophy list right now. I have 7 Platinums and my trophy level is 147. Uh, I did A Way Out and I haven't made a video on that game yet, but maybe at some point I will, I'm not sure yet. And as you can see right now, I'm working on Miles Morales. As I said before, I stream on Twitch, so if you want to see me play the game or you just want to hang out and chat, please join me over there. And I hope to meet you there. If not, uh, I hope you liked the video. Please drop in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. And I wish you a happy hunting.